Kate Middleton has expressed regret for skipping a crucial trooping the color rehearsal. I hope I am able to represent you all very soon. The Princess of Wales wrote in a letter to the Irish guards, who are this year presenting their colors to the king. Insiders have consistently emphasized that each cancer, journey, is unique, and they think that conjecture on Kate's attendance at important events like trooping puts undue strain on her at a time when she has requested quiet and space. As a result, the Princess of Wales will not be present for what was supposed to be her first colonel's review, scheduled for today. She would have taken the salute as the new colonel-in-chief of the Irish Guards at the dress rehearsal for Trooping the Colour. Prior to the King's official birthday celebrations on Saturday, June 15, which include their customary appearance on the Buckingham Palace balcony, there is the colonel's review. Except for the fact that some extra-mounted cops ride in the ladder, the King's birthday parade and the Colonel's review are the same. Over 1,400 soldiers from the Household Division and the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery, along with 400 musicians from the mass bands, will participate in the official review, which will take place on horseback. 250 foot guardsmen who will line the processional route along the mall are also part of the Colonel's review. The Irish guards were deeply touched to receive a letter from our Colonel, Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales this morning. The Irish guards wrote in response to the princess's letter on Twitter. We continue to express our warmest regards and wish Her Royal Highness every success in her recuperation. In the meantime, Buckingham Palace did disclose that, on medical advice, King Charles intended to attend trooping and evaluate the soldiers from a carriage with Queen Camilla. Although he has participated on horseback in the past, it has been decided that his seat in an Ascot Landau is more practical due to the ceremony's duration and the unpredictability of the weather. His Majesty continues to get treatment for an undisclosed cancer diagnosis. His physicians have now cleared him to take on more proactive public obligations, but officials have emphasized that they must carefully consider each possible engagement and make any necessary adjustments to prioritize his recuperation. Due to the general election, palace authorities were compelled to postpone some public appearances. However, this has no bearing on important national and ceremonial occasions like trooping. The Ministry of Defense took down a statement on its website earlier this year, on March 5th, indicating that Kate would be present during trooping the color activities. Although she has not revealed the specifics of her illness, she has stated that she was receiving preventive chemotherapy. According to Kensington Palace, the princess will undoubtedly recover completely. Following a show of pomp and military grandeur, the royal family often gathers on Buckingham Palace's balcony for trooping the color. Typically, the monarch inspects the troops by riding down from Buckingham Palace down the mall to Horse Guards Parade. After then, he returns by horseback to the palace in time for the customary balcony appearance alongside the larger royal family and the RAF flyby. The Ministry of Defense took down a statement on its website earlier this year, on March 5th indicating that Kate would be present during Trooping the Color activities. As an honorary colonel of the Irish Guards, Kate was set to review a practice. March on June 8th, tickets went on sale on the Army website. Additionally, it stated that on June 15th at Horse Guards, Charles will be reviewing his own official birthday procession. However, the mod may have jumped the gun, as there were concerns expressed minutes after the tickets went on sale. The princess's confirmed presence would be made only by Kensington Palace sources, who made it plain that they were not consulted on the mod announcement. Although Buckingham Palace emphasized that modifications could be made closer to the time depending on the king's health, it also reaffirmed at the time that plans for future engagements were proceeding despite the king's cancer treatment. The uncertainty increased people's anxiety about the royal family at the time because of concerns that two of its most senior members would be absent for extended periods of time. This was also before Kate disclosed that she was receiving cancer treatment in a tearful video posted on March 23rd. Kate was reportedly recovering from planned abdominal surgery. At the time, and it was thought unlikely that she would resume her responsibilities until after Easter. Her lack of attendance at public events and the limited information she provided about her illness and recovery had sparked irrational social media conspiracy theories about her health prior to her cancer revelation. She asked to be given time and space while she finished her therapy, making it clear that she wanted to focus on both her rehabilitation and helping her small children through a trying time. The princess has been spotted out and about more with her family recently, which will be interpreted favorably by many, 
despite the fact that there has been no official update on her health since. But Kensington Palace made it clear earlier this week that she still needs time and room to heal. After 1987, Queen Elizabeth II rode in a carriage to Trooping the Color. Following Rishi Sunak's announcement last week of an unexpected summer general election scheduled for July 4th, the royal family cancelled events which may appear to divert attention or distract from the election campaign. However, they have proceeded with garden parties at Buckingham Palace, and it is anticipated that the king and queen will make their scheduled appearances to commemorate D-Day's 80th anniversary in June in Portsmouth and Normandy. According to the army, the Irish Guards No. 9 company has been selected to troop their color, meaning that during the king's formal birthday celebration, the regiment will march its ceremonial flag through the ranks. Regimental mascot Tullamore, an Irish wolfhound also known as Seamus, will lead the troops as they enter the parade ground with the pipes and drums band of the Irish Guards. A distinctly Irish theme is planned for the music, which will feature both newly produced music especially for the march and traditional Celtic folk tunes. For nearly 260 years, the official birthday of the British royal has been celebrated annually with Trooping the Colour. Six weeks after his coronation, six weeks after becoming the head of state of the country, Charles celebrated his first trooping as king last year by mounting horse guards in Whitehall. Charles and Camilla waved from the balcony of Buckingham Palace during the festivities, while thousands of well-wishers in the mall cheered and sang the national anthem. The Prince and Princess of Wales and their kids were among the core group of working royals that surrounded the King and Queen in 2023. The Princess Royal and her spouse, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, as well as the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, and the Duke of Kent were also present on the balcony. When the COVID epidemic struck in the spring of 2020, trooping shifted. Lockdowns were imposed nationwide and Queen Elizabeth participated in substantially reduced festivities by herself. Trooping was temporarily relocated to Windsor Castle from Horse Guards Parade. In addition to celebrating Trooping the Colors' return in 2022, the country also celebrated the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, marking 70 years of her unprecedented reign. Not only was Prince Andrew and Prince Harry among her family members invited to the celebration, but only working royals were allowed to make an appearance on the balcony. This ensured that neither Andrew nor the Sussexes, who had been relieved of their royal duties, would feel offended by the Queen. However, others contended that it also put an end to decades of custom, as the lesser royals were now hidden from view.